it's Tim with Collect Jurassic, and I'm back with a bite-sized review, our smaller review format for this Battle Damage Velociraptor. We've been doing these smaller reviews. Uh, there's just so many toys to review uh, right now for Jurassic collectors, and I really want to get them all on the channel. Just do not have time to make in-depth 4K multiple camera angle reviews for every toy, but still want to show these ones to you like this awesome Battle Damage Velociraptor. Got this from my buddy Tom across the pond. Tom Jurassic was nice enough to send these to me. Um, they're from the UK. They aren't available here in the US, which is a shame because there are some cool figures, including this dark gray Raptor, um, which we'll go ahead and get out of the box here in a second. But uh, yeah, on the back, you can see the render. Almost looks very blue on the render, um, which is kind of funny. Um, but he's gray for sure. Uh, maybe a little bit bluish gray. And you have the other figures, the Triceratops, which we reviewed, and Gassosaurus, which we'll get to. Um, but yeah, there he is in the package. Uh, does kind of blends in with that Primal Attack. Some of the the figures really pop off that background but um this guy's so dark uh and moody he kind of blends in so enough about the package let's talk about the figure have another one off frame here that i can grab um but yeah this velociraptor sculpt before we talk about the paint oh he's really dark on film um this is this is the velociraptor sculpt for the mattel line um, i think a lot of us can agree that this is the best sculpt there is um, it's got tons of articulation. Uh, this version of the figure is no different. You know, the, the arms and legs all rotate. They have um, sort of like a half ball joint so they can go back and forth to the body as well as, um, or side to side to the body as well as back and forth. And then the arms have that, uh, that joint that lets you swing out as well as back and forth. Both arms are like that. So you can really do some like awesome poses with this thing. He's flying, he's a bird. Um, but no, I mean, you can do some really cool stuff with it. Uh, and of course the neck joint is where it's at for this figure. So if you can't tell, it's got a ball joint for the neck so it can like look behind it, which is just, you know, when you're talking about a Jurassic Park Velociraptor, um, it doesn't make sense to have it a one that can only go like this. Like the fact that it can look behind it with the sculpt is what makes this figure. It can look up. It can look down. It can do everything. I mean, this sculpt um, is just the best for that. I mean, you can get some really great pictures from, I think there's a there's a blue version, uh, Velociraptor blue, and then there's the yellow version that we got later on, which is a great figure. And now we have this dark gray version, this black version, which is what obviously makes this figure different um, than the others is that dark, dark color. I mean, look at that thing. That is just so cool. Um, it's just like sort of a night raptor, um, which is what I think is kind of my head cannon for this figure, what makes it cool. It's sort of like a night hunting raptor. And that, and that eye really pops against the... Um, you know, that dark color. And you, know, you can see the detail on this Raptor too. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's just, the, what they can get in these figures is amazing. I mean, look at all the, the ridges and scales, like all the figures. I mean, this one's no different. Um, it's just a great sculpt, a great look at the Raptor. And this dark color um, is just awesome. It's kind of hard to tell on my review table here uh, against the white. It's kind of getting, um, not blown out, but um, there is some subtleties. There's some black stripes against the gray, um, but it's just a very dark figure. Um, and, and, you know, you're so used to seeing all these brighter, very bright colors for a lot of the Mattel figures, but I, it's cool they went with something darker. Uh, I would have liked to see, uh, maybe this is just the Chaos Effect fan in me, like some, some like neon blue or something on here would have been really cool, but uh, also would have been a little bit out of place. So um, this is cool. This is a great one. And I really do wish this one would come to the U.S. because I think a lot of people are after this figure because it is the definitive Raptor sculpt and it's a very cool paint job that isn't blue the Velociraptor. Um, it's just really nice. So yeah, we're calling this one Night Raptor and we're loving this figure as well. Um, oh yeah, I guess I should mention the, the the mouth opens and closes too. So I mean, you can just do so many cool poses with this thing. Um, I wish they would do a classic Jurassic Park one Raptor with this sculpt. Um, but with the paint job from like the Hammond set. And that would just be so cool. Um, so if you're listening, Mattel, if you make that Raptor figure, you better come out in the US because um, people will eat that up, not just around the world, but here in the States too. So, um, but yeah, that's my rant for this awesome Raptor sculpt. And obviously this darker version of it uh, lives up to all the other versions of it. So very cool battle damage figure. That's all I can say for this bite-sized review. So thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but that's about all I can say for now. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic, and we will see you next time.